Now, the metabolism of lipids. Lipids are the main energy reserves of the body. They have maximum calorific value. The fatty acids produced by the hydrolysis of fat, sorry, the fatty acids produced by the hydrolysis of lipids are oxidized in the mitochondria, which is also considered as the powerhouse of the cell, of the liver and skeletal muscles. Complete oxidation of one molecule of palmitic acid produces 129 moles of ATP or 980 kilocalorie of energy. Now, as the calorific value of palmitic acid is 2340 kilocalorie per mole, the process of oxidation captures about 41% of the total energy of the combustion of the fatty acids in the form of high energy phosphate that is ATP, which is comparable to that of glycolysis and citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphophyte, sorry, and oxidative phosphophyrylation, which is comparable to that of glycolysis, citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphophyrylation. Blood is a fluid which circulates in a closed system of blood vessels. Although blood in the blood vessels is red to the naked eye, actually it consists of a pale yellow fluid called plasma fluid. The solid elements called the form elements erythrocytes, red blood capsules or RBCs, leukocytes, white blood capsules or WBCs and thrombocytes. Functions of blood. Although the main function of blood is to transport various materials to all cells of the body. Blood also provides the temperature regulating and defensive mechanisms for transport function. Apart from oxygen, which is carried virtually exclusively by hemoglobin, erythrocytes, and carbon dioxide, which is carried by both plasma and erythrocytes, the following important transport functions of the blood are served by the plasma. The first function is blood transport oxygen from lungs to tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs. Thus, it is responsible for the important process of respiration. It transports absorbed dietary materials from the digestive tract to all body tissues. That is, it also acts in the nutritive functions. Third, blood transports metabolic waste to kidneys, lungs, skins and intestine for removal. That is, blood also involves in excretory functions. Blood transports the various hormones from the endocrine glands to their target organs and thus it helps in regulating the metabolism of various products. Blood also transports the various minerals like iron, copper, etc. Now the next property, now the next activity is the temperature regulating function. The maintenance of body pH, the fluid balance, the plasma protein play an important role in regulating the water balance between the circulating fluid and the tissue fluids. Protective functions. Blood provides defense mechanism to the body against various types of infections. The function is, sorry, this function is attributed to the presence of certain formed elements. For example, leukocytes and antibodies, mainly gamma globulins in the blood. Moreover, the phenomenon of blood coagulation may be regarded as protective mechanism against undue loss of blood following disruption of the continuity of blood vessels wall. Next, the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin, a conjugated type of protein, is the red coloring matter of the blood. Its normal concentration is 14 to 16 gram per 100 ml of blood. 
Hemoglobin is found to be present in protein cells known as red blood capsules or RBCs. This blood protein plays an important function in the phenomenon of respiration as it carries oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to the lungs. It is a chromoprotein type of conjugated protein. The protein part is globulin. Sorry. It is a chromoprotein type of conjugated protein. The protein part is globin which is 94% and processory group is heme which is an iron ferrous complex. <coughs> Sorry. Now the next combination with oxygen. The most important property of hemoglobin is its power to combine with oxygen to form an easily dissociated compound known as oxyhemoglobin that is HPO2. The reaction is HB plus O2. The sign of reversibility gives HBO2.